Hey, I want to show you how to actually find the area of a trapezoid without remembering a massively huge formula. You see, in sixth grade, we are taught to teach the children about how to find the area of a trapezoid by dividing the trapezoid into shapes that they already know the formulas for. Well, a lot of people think that, oh, that means a rectangle and two triangles, but then when you cut it to a rectangle, well, of course we know that we could take out the bottoms here and, and arbitrarily, we don't know if this one's gonna be one and this one's gonna be one making two to make two plus six equal to uh, you know, six right here plus that two. We, we don't know which one's which, so we can do it a different way. What we can do is we can take this trapezoid and cut it into two triangles by going from one corner, or one vertex, to the other one. And of course, mine's not gonna be perfect, and I'm not using a tripod, but do the best you can. Now, another thing is, when we cut it into two triangles, we know the formulas for the triangles in sixth grade. That's something we know. The area of a triangle is going to be, let me write over here, sorry to do this with the camera in between me, area is equal to one half base times height. Well, that's easy to see for this triangle because we got the dotted line, which normally means that's the height. We have the little square. So we know that we have the base, which is uh, for the little tri the triangle on the left, I could say it that way. Um, we have one half times the base, which is going to be eight. Let me try to get a little bit more light on this. And then the height is four. And then we have another triangle we need to actually put the formula for as well. So we're gonna add the other triangle to this. That's one half times the base times the height of that triangle. Now you look at this triangle like, well, okay, so we have the base, uh, do we? Yes, we do. Look for either the dotted line or the right angles because on some trapezoids, they're flat on this side. They're a right angle on this side or this side. Do we need the seven? Do we need the five? No, those are there to distract you. So don't let them distract you. All right, so the base of trapezoids, there's two bases. They're the parallel lines. Those are the bases for all trapezoids. The six is the other base, so we're gonna put in over here, one half times six. And then the height is exactly the same. The height didn't change. It's between the two lines, the two parallel lines. And that's gonna be four. All we have to do now is find the area of the two triangles and just add them together. Half of eight is four, and then four times four is 16. Half of six is three, and then three times four, sorry, half of six is three, and three, three times four is 12. Sorry, I'm trying to get the, look through the camera here, make sure I'm not cutting you off here. All right, and then we just add 16 plus 12, and we get 28 for the area of this trapezoid. So the area of this trapezoid is equal to 28 square units. That's all you have to do. Just letting you know because I don't find a lot of videos on YouTube that show you this method. A lot of them rely on you knowing how to make a rectangle and two triangles, but really, if you made a rectangle, how long is this? How long is that? We can arbitrarily count it as one if this was an isosceles trapezoid, but we're not guaranteed this is one over here and one over here, plus this six making a total of eight. It's, it's really hard to tell without graph paper. All right, uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.